After 13 years of campaigning, on the 20th of September 2008, the community of Arran Seabed Trust breathed a sigh of relief as the Cabinet Secretary Richard Lockhead finalised legislation to implement the Lamb Lash Community No-Take Zone. This closed an area of just 2.65 square kilometres to all fishing as a trial to determine if and how it would recover from overfishing. The community hoped this would be the start of a regeneration process for the local marine environment. This footage was taken recently in an area immediately adjacent to the no-take zone. It is representative of how the seabed of the no-take zone looked in 2008. Furrows from the dredges point to the modified, simplified and denuded seabed. Little life remains between the lines of empty shells, with only the occasional remaining scallop or starfish. So, after five years, what difference has the protection of the no-take zone made to the marine life within the area? This short film hopes to illustrate some of the immediately obvious benefits so far. Many types of seaweeds and basic animals, including those which look like plants, have now recolonized the seabed. This provides a secure and stable foundation for the re-establishment of the seabed habitat. It is within this natural complex seabed habitat that the process of regeneration can start, offering both stable fixing points for eggs to settle and a nursery giving protection for small shellfish and juvenile fish of many types. New species now settling and growing on the no-take zone seabed include a range of sea squirts, feather stars, sponges, soft corals, bryzones and a variety of hydroids such as sea beard, just to name a few. The latest scientific report of 2013 from York University indicates that animals and plants attached to the seabed are two times more abundant within the no-take zone than outside. It notes that scallop numbers are now 50% more abundant within the no-take zone and reports that scallops are larger within the no-take zone. This is important, as larger the animal, the greater the reproductive potential, or the bigger the animal, the more eggs it can produce for future generations. The research indicates that a complex seabed of hydroids and red macro seaweeds are known to be immensely beneficial to the settlement of both king scallop and queen scallop spat or eggs. Researchers also found queen escallops were 45% more abundant within the no-take zone. Both research divers and remote baited cameras have indicated that the recovering seabed is the preferred habitat of many juvenile fish especially cod and whiting. Local fisherman Charlie Weir has, with a special license from Marine Scotland, 
worked with researchers to catch, measure, tag and return lobsters to the no-take zone. The results from the past two years has shown that the no-take zone contains larger, older lobsters, which will produce many times more eggs to reseed the local area. In 2006, the Scottish Parliament's Environment Committee endorsed the Community of Arran's seabed study and advised the Minister that the results from the trial should inform and influence future government policy. It is now crucial, with the Scottish Government committed to a network of marine protected areas around Scotland, that the findings from the Community of Arran's study should be used to inform and influence the fisheries management of Scotland's seas for future generations.